All right, so we will go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for coming um, to my first webinar. And I'm gonna do these every month as just a recap of everything that I've gone over in that month. So everything in this presentation will be December subjects. And then if you have any questions, I'll open it up for Q&A. Um, just feel free to use the Q&A button at the bottom um, and your questions will come directly to me. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So if you don't know me, my name is Tiffany Grant and I am the owner of Money Talk with Tiff. Um, I am, I used to be in human resources, so I call myself the human resources rebel. I am a money nerd. I'm a financial literacy advocate. I feel like everybody should know about finance and I'm a natural teacher. I just love teaching people um, these topics. So first, I just wanted to get into the blog posts from December. So I only had one blog post this month and it was actually a guest post. So it wasn't even one of my posts, but it was a really good um, article on how smart millennials are to be financially independent. So um, some of the key takeaways from that article, you know, financial independence is important to millennials. Um, you know, we're firm believers in the buyer movement, which I'll cover a little bit in the Wednesday word of the week slide. Um, it's best if we go ahead and get rid of debt as fast as possible. Always think about investing, um, whether it's in your company's 401k or any other investment vehicles and also learning from the previous generations. I think that's a, a big point that we kind of take for granted, um, just learning from our parents and our grandparents, you know, what were their ways that they invest, um, what was their struggle, what were their struggles, and things like that. Um, I think that's super important and oftentimes overlooked, especially when you come from a family that wasn't good with money, but there are still lessons to be learned there. So definitely check that out. Then I had um, Wednesday words of the week. So just a little bit about that. Um, those come through my email newsletter. So every Wednesday I do a new financial word that you may or may not know. I break down what it is, so the definition and why it's important. So this month, um, the first word that I went over was philanthropy. Now, if you're not familiar with philanthropy, that just means that, um, you know, you give it typically means giving monetarily to a cause or to an organization or something like that's given back to the community. But I made the point in that article that philanthropy doesn't have to stop with money. Like give it, you can give back time, you can give back resources, some of your skills. Um, philanthropy can go a long way. So I make the point to, you know, you don't have to have a lot of money to be uh, a philanthropist, you can be a philanthropist today. Um, so definitely check that out if you want to learn more about that word. Um, then I did the FIRE movement. So if you're not familiar, FIRE stands for Financially Independent Retire Early. Um, it is something that I am very interested in. I'm not going to say I'm, um, you know, headstrong into the FIRE movement. I'm not going to sell my house and move halfway across the country to save and all that stuff. Like, I don't go that hard, but um, I do think I, I do want to be financially independent and I do want to retire early. Now, I made the point in that article that retire early doesn't necessarily mean you stop working and then you wait to die. Like, that's not what it means. Um, it means you're able to retire. You, you can choose whether you want to work or not. And what you do for work or what you do in your spare time um, may be different if you didn't financially have to depend on that money. So that's what the FIRE movement is all about. A book that I highly recommend is Your Money or Your Life by Vicki Robin. She's one of the pioneers of the FIRE movement. And I read that book last year and it had a profound impact on me and um, just looking at money differently and looking at my time differently. So I highly recommend that book. 
Um, another word I did was broker dealer. So this was actually this week's word of the week. And a broker dealer, um, those are places like Charles Schwab, TD Ameritrade, things like that. Um, they're pretty much acting as a broker when they help you um, sell, buy and sell your securities and as a dealer when they buy and sell their own. So I go into a lot of depth um, as to why they're called broker dealers, what they're used for, their place in the market. So definitely check out that article as well if you want to learn more about broker dealer. Um, just a reminder, please put your questions in the chat box. I will definitely look at them afterwards um, and answer anything that you have. So another thing I do every month our podcast episodes. So every Thursday at 6 a.m., there is a new podcast episode where we talk about different money topics. A lot of the time I have guests on, so the majority of my podcast episodes are interviews, um, but I do have some solo interview, um, some solo, solo episodes. Um, so this month started with episode 20. First of all, I don't believe I'm all the way on episode 20 already. That's amazing. Um, it's been so fun and time is just flying by. But I interviewed Stephanie Perry and she um, has a website called vicarious.com where she encourages people to take a grown up gap year. Now, this is a concept that I never thought about, I didn't know about until I met Stephanie on Twitter, actually. Um, the Twitter community, when it comes to financial people in the field, it's huge. Um, and Stephanie is one of the people that I follow and I asked her to come on the show because I thought it was important for people to understand this concept of um, leaving work just to travel for a year. So she saved up um, X amount of money and then she told her job, look, I'm leaving, I'm going to travel, you know, if you want me back when I get back, cool, if not, cool, you know, <laughs> that type of thing. And she just traveled um, and went to a whole bunch of different countries. I think it was 12 countries. Don't quote me. Anyway, um, <laughs> but she went to a bunch of different countries and um, now she still travels, um, but she does it in the form of house and pet sitting. So it was a really cool conversation. We talked about how she uses house sitting as a way to stay in different countries for free and also make some money on top of that um, if it allows. But I was like, shoot, all of the money that you spend getting hotels and Airbnb and things like that, if you can find somebody's house to sit, you can stay for free. So it's like, even if they don't pay me to house sit, that's fine. The money that I'm saving in uh, lodging costs is great. So I definitely wanted to look into that. I don't know about the pet sitting thing because I'm not a fan of pets, um, but house sitting, I can totally do. If they have a fish, that's fine. Um, <laughs> so, and she also talked about low cost travel destinations. And, you know, I think that's important because a lot of people think that they need a lot of money to travel. And that's just not the case. There are, I, I actually subscribe to, uh, Scotch Cheap Flights, which is an email newsletter, and they send out um, a cheap flight to somewhere in the world every day. And you'll be surprised, like there's alerts that come through $200 to go to, you know, the Caribbean, or, you know, I saw something for like $400 to go to China. Like, that's crazy. Like, you can do that. So, I just wanted to, in this article, I think it, does, I mean, in this podcast episode, I think it does a good job of dispelling the myth that you need to have a lot of money to travel. So next, um, I had, uh, let's talk investing with Angela Matthews. Now, Angela Matthews is someone else that I met uh, recently, and she teaches people how to invest on their own. So this was a very good conversation. Highly recommend you checking it out. 
But some of the key takeaways, um, we talked about opportunity zones. Now, a lot of people don't know about these opportunity zones, um, but in your local community, there is probably an opportunity zone there that you can invest in and more details about that in the episode, but you get government breaks just for investing in those areas, which is crazy. So that's why you may see, um, you know, big development happening on different sides of towns is because a lot of times they're taking um, advantage of these opportunity zones. So definitely check out that podcast episode and in the notes I put a link to um, an article to explain opportunity zones a little more. We also talked about mutual funds, what mutual funds are, how they work, and also Angela went over some of her investing strategies, which I thought was very enlightening because when you um, talk to someone else and they have a different investing strategy, it kind of lets uh, mix the light bulbs go off about how you can kind of integrate that into your own strategy. So highly recommend that. And then the episode from this week um, was a solo episode. So it was just me and I was talking about fraud. So it's called Fraud Alert, How to Protect Yourself. And this episode came about because I went to an all day um, fraud prevention, uh, financial exploitation of seniors workshop. And I was like, this is some good information. Let me make this either a podcast episode or a blog post. And of course, since I love talking, it became a podcast episode. So some of the key takeaways from there, um, scammers are everywhere. They're out there trying to get your information. And, you know, we kind of make it so easy for them by being nonchalant about how we sign up for things, how we um, use free Wi-Fi and things like that. So um, definitely be on high alert. Um, I also made the point to shred everything. Um, a lot of people don't shred. And to me, that blows my mind because, you know, if big companies and banks and everybody else shreds, why aren't you? Um, it's very important that you shred your information because there are people that go through garbages just to find your papers and find your information. And even if all of your information isn't on one document, they can piece multiple documents together and get everything that they need. So I highly recommend shredding. You can find a shredder that's very cheap on Amazon, I'm sure. Um, so definitely do that. Then the robocallers, like I feel like this is an epidemic at the moment. It's ridiculous. Robocallers are calling. I get numerous calls a day um, from robocallers, but I go over in the podcast episode that the kind, some of the strategies that they use to get your information. So definitely check that out as well. So what's next with Money Talk with T? Money Talk with Tiff. So I have three events coming up. Um, investing, how to make your work benefits work for you. That's January 4th. And that I'll be discussing how to use um, various work benefits. Some may, you may or may not have heard of, like uh, 401ks, Roth 401ks, um, stock option plans, all of that stuff, uh, ways that you can invest at work, HSAs, and how to utilize to make that happen. So that that's kind of like how you can get into investing baby steps, you know? Um, so as the different events um, go next, so for instance, how to make your work benefits work for you, that's like entry level. Then DIY the basics, that's a little more advanced, but not too bad. And then DIY advanced topics, that's like we're getting into full on analysis. So DIY the basics, that goes into what are stocks and bonds, um, what is allocation, what are the different sectors, all that basic information. And then advanced topics is when we get into fundamental analysis, how to read, um, balance sheets and all that stuff, and also technical analysis, so how to read charts, the charts that are available, you know, online or, you know, things like that, um, how to read them. So 
you know, we'll go over uh, cup and handle and uh, head and shoulders and what those terms mean when you're looking at stocks. So with that being said, I do have a deal. Um, as a thank you for coming to my webinar, I wanted to offer the first 10 people 25% off of one of my upcoming events. So all you have to do is use the code DEC19 at checkout. Only one event per person. You can only use the code once and that expires on December 23rd. So definitely check that out. Um, I am in the giving spirit. Um, <laughs> so I'll probably also have some uh, deals going on in my Facebook groups. So if you're not a part of that, definitely join. Um, if you have any questions or you want more information, this is where you can find all of the previous things I talked about and also any new blog posts, Wednesday words of the week and podcast episodes. They're all on my website. This webinar will actually be posted on my website probably after the holidays, only because Money Talk with Tiff will be closed next week. But please feel free to email me, Tiffany at Money Talk with T, with any questions. Um, so let me see if we have any questions from the people that have attended. Let's see, because that is the end of my presentation. Let's see. I'll stop sharing here. And let's see if we have any questions. And we don't. So um, thank you so much for coming. Um, definitely bring your questions. I want to answer anything that you want to know. Um, I try to make this short and sweet. So thank you. I will see you next time.